Hi, my name is John Ambrosic. I'm a salesman here at Smale GMC in Greensburg, PA. And in this video, we're going to do a ride along in the all new redesigned 2017 GMC Acadia. So in this video, we're going to do a ride along of the all new redesigned 2017 GMC Acadia. Um, so right off the bat, if you are a previous Acadia owner, you can immediately tell the difference just in the styling of the interior. They've completely changed everything. Um, made the vehicle a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, um, completely redesigned the dashboard. So uh, everything is real nice, close. You don't have to reach real far. Um, one of the two big key differences between the 17 Acadia and the previous Acadias um, is it's now available with a push button start. Uh, where they, the previous ones, they still had a key, and that was one of the complaints there towards the end that, um, that the Acadia was not available with a push start. Uh, so now for 2017, they are available with passive entry and the push button start. So you just have to have a key fob in your pocket purse um, or on your person, push a button on the door on the outside to get in, and then push the button inside to start. Uh, the other big difference is the steering wheel, steering column. Um, is actually now electronic tilt and telescope. Uh, so that was another complaint there towards the end that um, some of the other vehicles out there in that similar market did have the electronic tilt and telescope wheel. So now the Acadia actually does have that now. Um, so we're gonna get started here on our ride along and just go over some of the other new features on the vehicle. So on the previous Acadias, they were available with forward collision and lane departure warning. Uh, the new Acadias have the upgraded system from the, from the lane departure. So it's a lane keep assist with lane departure warning. Uh, so what that is gonna do is as you're driving, it's gonna monitor the lines in the road. And if you get close to the left or the right side, it's actually gonna nudge the steering wheel to push you back into the lane. So we're gonna kind of demonstrate that right now. I'm going over, steering wheel nudges slightly to the left to push me back into the lane. Along with the lane keep assist, uh, it still does have the forward collision. Um, there's also a following distance that you can actually go in through your settings on your driver information center. scroll through and it actually shows you the following distance calculated by the vehicle in front of you so it shows you how far away from that vehicle you are so when we start up here so you can see now it showing an actual time so that's the actual distance that I'm traveling in the vehicle in front of me so if that vehicle were to stop, that's pretty much how long I have to stop. Uh, so again, the dashboard has changed an awful lot. Um, you do have the reconfigurable driver information center, which you did not have previously on the older Acadias. So you can have your digital speedometer there, uh, your trip meters, oil life, tire pressure. Um, and you see down below the speed, you have your lane keep assist and your forward collision. Green lights activated there. As long as they're green, you're good. Uh, if, those ve if those turn to a yellow, it's just warning you with the lane departure, it's gonna turn yellow. Um, and with the forward collision, same thing. As long as you maintain a safe distance of the vehicle in front of you, this vehicle on the right-hand side is gonna be green. If it turns yellow, it's just a warning that you're getting a little close to the vehicle in front of you. Uh, and then if you're really close, it's gonna alert you by flashing the red light on the, up on the dash and reflect off of the windshield. The interior of the new 2017 Acadia, again, completely redesigned. They moved the center stack up a little bit to open this up so you have two USBs, uh, you have a auxiliary plug down there, and you have a regular charger plug. Um, a lot of the material in here, very nice material, um, soft touch, 
Uh, they made the steering wheel smaller and a lot uh, thicker. So it kind of gives you a, a nice grip to the steering wheel, uh, whereas the other ones on the older Acadias seem to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thinner. Uh, this gives you a nice sporty feel to the steering wheel. You still have the aluminum accents around the center pod around your air vents on the driver and the passenger side um, and also on the steering wheel so that's another key GMC feature and they've actually kind of cleaned up the steering wheel so if you're familiar with uh, most of the other GMC lines or even the other GM lines uh, they've kind of gone to a steering wheel that's similar to, to the rest of those vehicles. Um, so they've kind of cleaned everything up. You have your buttons here for your Bluetooth and also for your voice recognition. Um, you have your arrow buttons here that control your driver information center. On the right hand side here behind the steering wheel, you have your volume controls up and down. On the left hand side behind the steering wheel, you have your controls to change your channels up and down. Uh, on the left side, you have your forward collision right here. Um, on the vehicles equipped with heated steering wheel, button is right here. And then these buttons here on the left, you have your cruise control on and off, set, resume, and your cancel button. So everything now, driving normally, everything is right here. Uh, it was there before, but like I said, it kind of was a little bit more cluttered. This is a little bit more clear. A little bit easier to understand um, gives you a little bit more options one of the nice key features about the 2017 Acadia is you have the option uh, in certain vehicles that if you want they have a complete disconnect from all-wheel drive so the previous Acadias you either had a front-wheel drive or you had an all-wheel drive and there was no in-between um, for the 2017, you do have the option, um, and right behind the shifter, there is a knob, and what you can do is you just turn the knob and you either go from front wheel drive, you can put it in all wheel drive, there is a sport setting, uh, what the sport setting is going to do is just going to adjust through your shift points, give you a little bit more sporty ride, uh, there is a snow and ice um, option that you can pick. So again, it's going to just control the way the vehicle shifts. And then your tow haul mode is changed. Uh, went from the previous Acadias behind the shifter in the front here on the console. There was an actual button for the tow haul. Um, it's now actually on the knob here. So you can just turn it all the way to the right and you're in your tow haul mode. Again, the 2017 is a complete redesign from the previous Acadia models. So the whole exterior of the vehicle is completely different. They've shortened the wheelbase. Uh, they've narrowed the wheelbase a little bit. Um, so the biggest thing is where the old Acadias, you could have an eight passenger, a seven passenger. Um, the new Acadias, you can get them in a couple different interior levels. So you can have a five passenger, which is gonna give you the two front seats, plus a bench in the second. Uh, with deletes the rear seat and gives you cargo storage throughout the whole back of the vehicle. Uh, the other option is going to be a six passenger which is going to be a two passenger in the front, captain's chairs in the second row and the third row has shrunk. It went from a three passenger to a two passenger now and then your other option that you have across the board is you can get a bench seat in the second row. So then you can go up to a seven passenger. So the two pa driver and passenger in the front seat, three people in the back, and then two people in the third row. So again, the, the old Acadias were an eight or a seven passenger. Now you have the option to go five, six, or a seven passenger. The engine has been completely redesigned. They still use a 3.6 liter V6. Uh, but it has gone now from 285 horsepower to 310 horsepower. So noticeable difference in the performance of the vehicle. Uh, the other change that they made for 2017 is now 
it's available with another engine option before your 3.6 was the only engine option that you had. Um, now the base vehicle comes with a 2.5 liter four cylinder um, and then you have the 3.6 liter as an option. One of the other big noticeable differences in the new Acadia that you notice right off the bat is the quietness of the interior. Um, the older Acadia was still a quiet vehicle. Um, GM actually added some more sound deadening behind the dashboard uh, and in the doors. And it's just noticeable difference from the older Acadia. Again, the older Acadia was, the older body style was still a quiet vehicle, smooth riding vehicle. Uh, this vehicle is just kind of taking it a step further, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more refined ride. And I know some people are probably wondering why GMC would actually take the Acadia, which we sell a lot of. Uh, it's a very popular vehicle with a lot of people and why they would take it and actually make it smaller. And GM's thoughts there were they could make the vehicle a little bit smaller still maintain the interior space um, and still have a third row but maybe make the vehicle the size of say a Jeep Grand Cherokee or a Ford Explorer uh, that they would actually sell more vehicles. Um, there are people out there that think the older Acadia body style is a little bit too big even though they need the three rows um, it was a very it was a bigger vehicle so again GM's thoughts are maybe by making the vehicle a little bit smaller uh, they'll bring in some more customers who again want the third row but maybe thought that the vehicle was just a little bit bigger than they needed um, so they're hoping to bring in those customers um, but for the for the people who still like the size of the older Acadia for a limited time for 2017 they are still are going to make the old body style um, and that vehicle is actually going to be the Acadia Limited and again it's just going to be for a limited run through 2017 um, so for a time there will be two different versions of the Acadia there will be the all new redesigned Acadia and then there will be the Acadia Limited which is the older body style that everybody's a little bit more familiar with. I'm going to demonstrate the surround view camera, which again is a real nice feature. So it's going to come up as you back up, put the vehicle in reverse. Then you have your typical backup camera, but on the left side of the screen you can see you have your above view which is nice because as you start backing into a spot not only do you have your park assist you can also see on the, the left side of the screen where you're positioned at between the vehicles It'll get you in that parking spot real nice um, and again the 2017 Acadia comes equipped with uh, its option for the driver alert seat which is going to notify you it's going to vibrate um, with the lane keep assist and then also with the parking sensors in the front and the back of the vehicle. The other nice thing about this surround view is again when you put the vehicle in drive now you have on the right where you would typically have your backup camera you have a view of, of what's in front of you. The other thing that you can do is you can switch to the backup camera and you can also change your views so if you do tow something you have your normal park assist. Uh, there is also an option that you can push here and it's going to show you the line straight there in the middle and it's actually going to get you lined up with your trailer. So that's right there on your tow hitch and it'll line you straight up with your tail trailer. Again you just push the button. You can kind of go back and forth when you're in drive between the two settings. So that's the ride along in the all new 2017 GMC Acadia. For more information, check out our other videos at smailgmc.com.